what's up everybody so i actually started a reading vlog yesterday it was like a themed reading vlog um but i ended up not liking the like audiobook i was listening to i was like tuning it out so much during my drive that i just decided to start like a different type of reading vlog but this one doesn't really have a theme to it it's literally just gonna be me reading books that i have been wanting to read so i think you guys know i've been talking about how i've been listening to audiobooks and like reading the physical copy at the same time when i can and that helps out so much because you can get so much more reading done i love how it like keeps me you know not distracted because the audiobook is going and i usually can turn it up to like three times the speed while i'm reading physically also because i went back to work and stuff then i'm able to continue my book during my drive because i have an hour drive to work like both ways there and back so today i list i started um a new book because some of my holds came in on libby which is like my library audio book app or i just like i only listen to audiobooks on libby i don't use anything else but anyway i am reading masterclass by christina dalsher i guess is how you say it i actually read her first book vox a couple years ago and as far as I know, like, she write very, like, dystopian type books. So, her first book, Vox, was about how women in the world were only allowed to say 100 words a day, which was, like, super fascinating. I ended up only giving that book three stars because it got, like, really political um, in, like, the second half. And when I read dystopian books, like, I like more of just the, I don't know, the, the circumstances by it, not really the political thing that's behind it. Um, but yeah, they had like a little tracker and like it tracked your words or whatever. With this one, this one is about, um, everyone is given a class depending, or like a score depending upon how smart you are. So it says every child's potential is regularly determined by a standardized measurement. Their quotient or Q is what they like call it score high enough to attend a top tier school and a golden future awaits score too low and it's off to a federal boarding school with limited prospects afterward it's not just based off of like how smart you are it is how smart you are but it's also like what type of personality you have also it's it's just really crazy so far like what i'm reading and i think i'm 17 yeah i'm 17 percent in the audiobook and that was just me listening like on my drive here I actually have to clean the turbo today, uh, which takes about an hour and a half. So I'm going to listen. I brought my little earphones because like what happens is like the turbo is this like microwave oven thingy at my job and um i have to like take it out and you like scrub it and it takes a really long time and it's a lot of hard work but it's great i just brought my little bluetooth earphones and i'm the only person there like cleaning it so i can literally just like zone out and like scrub and listen to the audiobook i did it last week and it was great so i'm going to do that also Today, I am going to get to see Gwen. I'm finally getting to meet Gwen from the channel, Gwendolyn Kensinger. She is coming to my house. We're doing a wine weekend, which is going to be super, super fun. And also Jessie from Reading with Jess, she's also coming. Um, she'll come tomorrow. And then I have a friend, Ginny. We're all in my like online book club. And so we're doing the little like Virginia meetup. But I am super excited. So after work today... I'm gonna go home and then Gwen is gonna like show up and I'm really excited and so I'm hoping to get some like vlog footage or something of you know just us hanging out and all that kind of stuff I think that would be really really fun so I need to go up now and get ready for work and start cleaning and listen to more of my audiobook <gasps> guess what you guys Oh my gosh, so Gwen from Gwendolyn Kensinger. We are doing Wine Weekend, which I talked about earlier in this vlog. This is actually Saturday. So yesterday I was reading uh, Masterclass and I actually got to like 67%, uh, but I didn't get to update you guys because like I had listened to all of that on my way to work while I was cleaning the turbo at work and then also like on my drive home. But then Gwen showed up literally like right <laughs> after that. And then we've just been like talking and having a good time like ever since. But today is our actual like wine 
day. Yeah, it's like our event. It's yeah, like the it's like the party ride. time. <laughs> so we're actually waiting for um, our friend Jenny. She's coming like very soon. And then Jesse from Reading with Jess, she's coming also in like an hour or two. But we're actually about to start. Like we have all of this like cheese and stuff. I'm gonna make a big cheese board. And then we have some of our wines so far. Uh, two chilling in there and then two up there and the other two girls are also bringing two bottles of wine each so <laughs> yeah. we're gonna have a lot of wine yeah it's gonna be fun Yeah, this one is like a five. It's very like grapey. It's very mm -hmm. like muscadine. Like, yes. Uh, oh. Yes. Oh. Yeah. What's that? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Numbers it because it was. Oh, did we buy the same wine but a different brand? Maybe. Because this one must be mine. smells like just like mine. Because yours, that was yours. You but I, this is mine then. Yeah, if so, that one's yours. Yeah, because I was like, these are both messy. Yeah, yeah, these are both the same. Yeah, because I, like, I love. Is my this. cup starting to smell like? I'm not gonna smell anything else. But yeah, this is good too. Yeah, I know they. I'm, I'm, I'm just, just a different brand. Say it here. Yeah, I'll, I'll just say it. <laughs> this one's colder. Yeah. Mmm. Yeah. This one's good too. Ooh, it almost tastes like it has like lime in it or something. It yeah. Does. Or grapefruit. What? Like, like grapefruit. It actually does. Yeah. No, it's got a I love how you know when you have that statement. <laughs> it almost tastes like it has wine in it. No, lime! Wow. <laughs> and she's laughing like, I was going to use that here with she had. She was like, why are you guys saying that's right? That's like, and I was like, what? We People concur. say there's underlying notes all the time. <laughs> Oh, 
So I just finished masterclass. I'm sorry, the lighting is really crazy because it's the afternoon. It is almost five o'clock, but Gwen and Jesse and Jenny all left. I think it was around like one o'clock, but anytime I am like visiting with people or like have people over and it's like a good time or like, you know, they stay at the night and stuff. I get like, I don't know, in almost like a weird funk, like after people leave, it's like the thing that I was like looking forward to is over, you know? I literally have two videos that I should have been editing, but I really didn't feel like editing and I was like kind of tired too. I almost took a nap, but I decided instead to like listen to the rest of masterclass. So the last time I had like talked to you guys about this, I had, I think I was around like 67% or something like that because of me listening to it on my drive to work and then at work and then on my drive home. But I don't know. I think I'm going to rate it just three stars. I was really liking it. I think for Christina Dauscher's books, it's like the first half I really love because her dystopian story is entertaining and exciting and stuff. But then every single time I get to the second half, I feel like it totally changes gears and isn't as exciting and is a little bit more not i guess like political but also just preachy maybe i don't know so this was about this like america i guess where children and everybody actually were based upon their iq score and it that depended on like what type of job that you would get um, a lot of different factors like you would have like a different checkout that you could go to in the store You would just get all of these perks for being like a really smart person and the main character in here She was okay with that until one of her daughters didn't like pass her latest test because like every month they had to take a test So then her daughter actually gets you know like sent they say it's to like a boarding school, but that's like kind of what part of the story is, is like, is it actually a boarding school or is it something else? And then, I don't know, it just seemed to get like really cheesy at the end. And I mean, I saw so much of it coming, so it wasn't like anything was surprising to me. So the concept in general is really good, but I just think that the author's expectations i don't know like they just the way that she writes the dystopian books they're just not as good then later i don't know that's just my opinion who even knows good morning or afternoon it's like noon time now um so i i actually haven't updated this vlog in a little bit it is what is today Thursday and I think the last clip in this vlog was from Sunday and there are a couple different reasons for that um, One I had kind of stopped this vlog so that way I could film my heart bones like spoiler vlog But now uh, Actually yesterday because I had to close I ended up starting the marriage lie by Kimberly Bell because the audiobook came in through the Libby app I didn't get to read a whole bunch I am on page 74, um, but so far I am liking it. Like it's, I mean, it's decent. It's not like fantastic yet, but I think that I will end up liking it. Like I feel like it's gonna be like a four star-ish, but this book is like a domestic thriller about this lady who has been married to her husband for seven years and they're trying for a baby. And then the next, and like, apparently their marriage is like really really great and the next day he was like going on this airplane trip to like go to a convention and he like that plane or a plane crashes not the plane that she thought that he was on but a plane crashes and his name comes up as being one of the passengers on that plane who's dead now and this makes her then freaking out because he was on a different plane than like he told her and he was going to a convention that actually never even existed he had like made up these like fake pamphlets 
And so her whole family like thinks that he has been cheating on her, but she just like can't fathom the fact that like he would like he lied about this stuff and he was cheating on her because like their marriage was so great. Um, and so yeah, that's like kind of what it's been like like for, from what I've been reading. I have no clue where it's gonna go. I have no clue if he actually like did die or if he was cheating on her, like I really don't know. But yeah, so I am going to try and just sit and read a bunch of this. I'm off today, but then I work the weekend. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So I'll try and like continue reading this audiobook. But today I don't really have much to do thankfully it's kind of just like a chill day and it's like cold and like cloudy and kind of rainy outside so i think i'm gonna turn on my tv where like you know i have the little backgrounds going and i might light some candles and like make either i don't know if i want like a cup of hot tea or like a matcha latte i'm not sure but yeah we're gonna get like cozy and just kind of like read the book for a while lie and I was gonna give it I don't know I think I was gonna give it like three and a half stars because it was good but it wasn't anything spectacular but then the ending like literally like the end ending the last you know two sentences shocked me so now I think that I'm going to have to give it four stars just because I was like there's no more pages like I mean it was just a reader's guide I was like Wh what it ends like this like what so yeah I don't know I think that this would be a really good book for beginner thriller readers I think that a lot of beginners would really like it I'm still not sure if I'm gonna rate it like 3.5 or 4 I'm gonna think about it for a little bit um but exactly what I said the synopsis was is like what this book is about and then obviously like I can't really tell you much more about it because I don't want to give away any of like the there's not really that many twists um but I don't want to like even give you really any suspicion about what's happening in this book but yeah the ending definitely did not see coming I was wondering how she was gonna go with like how it kind of like all wrapped up I really wasn't sure but I mean it was good it was it was good like Kimberly Bell I actually read um, Dear Wife by Kimberly Bell and that one I think I gave three stars this one is de or did I give it two stars no I think I gave it three stars but this one is definitely better than that so that's why it definitely has to get like a 3.5 maybe a four but it's definitely set up kind of like a regular thriller it's nothing like even the storyline it's not anything that's like crazy different um so yeah it's like a normal domestic thriller okay so i had done like my chores i put my laundry away and stuff it is now 5 15 and i don't know like what i want to do next because i have to go to work like tomorrow actually the whole weekend so i'm not sure like what book i want to read next for this vlog you know what i mean i don't know or i really have been wanting to start 
this graphic novel of The Handmaid's Tale. And I've been debating on whether to read this as like the third book for this vlog or not. Should I do it? I wish you guys could answer me. Oh yeah, I could probably even totally finish this tonight and then get this vlog up for you guys even before I thought I could. And then I can get you guys more content because then I can actually start a different vlog over the weekend, which I would be really excited to do. Okay, okay, okay. So I think I'm going to get a glass of wine and then start reading this graphic novel of The Handmaid's Tale, which is, it is so beautiful. Like, tell me that this is not beautiful. I mean, look, at, it's, it's a hardcover. Oh my gosh, like it looks so pretty. Um, and then like, look how beautiful all this art is. I love it. Oh my gosh, this looks so great. I can't wait to read this. Okay, so let's get a glass of wine and I need to make a little bit of dinner. So I think I think I gotta put some cauliflower in the oven and then we'll, we'll read this with our little forest and you know, Graham just chilling over there. How's it going, Graham? Graham, there you are. Look at you little cutie. Are you a little cute guy? Are you a cutie boy? Yeah, look at that stretch. All right, you gotta get down. Get down. Swimming around the world, think no one knows to keep my beautiful girl. Ooh, 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 ooh. Promise you'll never come back, love will come back to me. Won't you ever come back? gosh you guys this is just like so sad like she just um this one lady just gave birth and i can't even imagine like not even being able to hold your baby and like it just getting taken away this is a really really great graphic novel i feel like really connected to the story compared to reading the actual physical book. Um, yeah, so I really like this book a lot. I am uh, almost halfway. It is one in the morning. I got home from work and I finished reading The Handmaid's Tale graphic novel, which was actually really good. I'm gonna give this five stars because it was, it was really good. Like I never actually read the full book of The Handmaid's Tale because I DNF'd it because I didn't like it, but I did watch season one of the show. And so I think like, because I watched the show, I did like appreciate this more, but I also just really love like all of the pictures. It's just so easy to, you know, read the book when like all of the pictures are really beautiful. So, um, this definitely makes me now want to go like finish the seasons because I think, I think I started like season two, but now I want to go because I think season four is going to come out soon. But anyway, so in this vlog, I read Masterclass, which I think I gave three stars. Then I read The Marriage Lie. And I think I'm gonna give that one 3.5. Like I know what my rating is now. That's a 3.5. And then I'm gonna go ahead and give the graphic novel a five star because yeah, it was really good. I would definitely recommend for people to read the graphic novel over the book, but that is it. I really wanna get this video up for you guys in the morning and I need to go to bed now. So I will see you guys very soon in another video.